Cyber crime crosses many lines. It can be personal, it can be economic, it could even be political. And new research shows that the tools we use every day can make us a target for a cyber attack. Our next guest is a cybersecurity expert who will pass along some very important tips on the business of cyber crime. Kevin Haley joins us live by satellite from Los Angeles this morning. Good morning to you, Kevin. Good morning. Good to see you and good to talk to you. This is a very important thing because um, I feel very vulnerable every time I'm on the computer right now because I feel like there are just people trying to come at me in every direction. Is that being um, truthful to myself? Is, is that really what's, um, am I a target? Uh, of course you are. I, I think what happens is many people who are make sure they're very secure in the real world, they lock their doors, they make sure their windows are closed and locked at night. Uh, but when they get into the virtual world, they don't realize that uh, there are risks there as well, and they're not doing everything they should to protect themselves. So what should we be doing to protect ourselves? Well, you know, one of the ways that attackers are going after us more than ever is through email. In fact, we're seeing more malicious email this year than we've seen in five years. Attackers are sending us email trying to trick us into clicking on links or attachments. And uh, once we do that, we get ourselves in trouble. So we need to be very suspicious when we see these things and be very careful when these things end up in our mailbox. But these people who are doing it are very smart. On the news this week, we had a story about um, a home improvement uh, sh store that was being targeted because they were sending a, a, the hackers were sending out these um, emails that looked like it was offering a coupon asking you to click on a link. And those kind of things we just kind of get sucked into because it looks like we're going to get something for nothing. <laughs> That's right. I mean, they take advantage of human nature, and they also can just cut and paste. They can, they can duplicate exactly what an email from another company or a legitimate company might look like. So, you know, if you're looking for typos, that sort of thing, that's not a good way to tell anymore. If they're trying to get you to click on a link or they're trying to get you to open an attachment, that's when you need to be suspicious. You know, the safe thing to do is always go directly to the website. Don't click on the link in the email. Just go right to the website itself. That way you can avoid the attacker's trick. Let's talk about being proactive. What should somebody do if they feel like they've been hacked or their information has been stolen? Well, you've got, to, you've got to try to figure out what information was stolen, but in general, it's a good idea to kind of watch your credit card, watch your bills come in. If you see anything that's unusual, suspicious, you want to get a hold of your bank. You want to get a hold of your credit card company, and, and they can help you take care of that. Because these are not always direct hacks on our computer. A story this week about a, a national restaurant whose system had been hacked. And if you went to that place and ate and used your credit card, now your information is vulnerable. How can we protect ourselves from things like that? Yeah, there's very little you can do. It's really up to the companies that store our data. Now, all of them are being attacked. We've certainly seen a lot of these stories in the news. Uh, at, th at this point, really, uh, it's good that they let us know that this happened so we can be on our guard and, uh, and look for those uh, suspicious things on our credit card. And again, once you see something that doesn't look right, call right away. Get this taken care of so that it doesn't cause you any problems. And what's the biggest problem going on right now in the world of cybersecurity? Well, the biggest problem is actually something called ransomware. We saw that grow 36% in the last year. That's when bad guys get on your computer and they encrypt all your files, your family photos, your tax returns, and then they demand a ransom in order to unencrypt those files and give them back to you. Wow, so how do we protect ourselves from that? Yeah, well, you don't want it on your machine in the first place. The average amount they ask for has risen from $300 to over $1,000. So get good security software on your system. That's going to help protect you. Follow those best practices. Be suspicious about that email. And make sure you've backed up your files, because if the bad guys get on, encrypt your files, better to restore them and get them that way than to uh, pay a ransom. Always great advice. Kevin Haley, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. You're very welcome. Have a great rest of your day.